Hello best friend and welcome welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Girl, this is the first time you're watching my channel. My name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend you have found me, girl, make sure you hit that subscribe button, grab a snack and a drink. Girl, my phone is about to fall. Um, Grab a snack and a drink. Happy Saturday. What are you doing? What are you going to do today? Let me know in the comments. Girl, we got to talk about Sam Asghari and Britney Spears. So Sam Asghari was met by TMZ at the airport. You know, sometimes I kind of wonder how TMZ knows exactly where these people are because it's giving very much, I call the paparazzi on myself, but you know what, bitch? It is what it is. We got some good tea from this. So Sam Asghari spoke to TMZ about the conservatorship. So let's watch this together and then we can talk. I'm going to put it right here so we can watch this together. Okay, I'm going to turn this off and then we're going to put the volume and then we're going to watch. Okay, look. She doing? She's doing great. Thank doing you. Doing good. She's happy. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you. Right. Sam, Sam, let me ask, let me ask you something. Is there any merit to the? I mean, Brittany aside, is there any merit to the conservatorship idea? Do you see any positives in, in the? Just the idea. Right? Absolutely not. The conservatorship was a total bullshit move. It should have never happened. It should be illegal to put anybody under the conservatorship. And that was the worst thing that's ever happened in this country. It's in the country of freedom, and that should have never happened, especially to her. So it's very rare to see anybody kind of talk about the conservatorship who is in Britney's camp. Especially, girl, what is this? Especially, you know, her husband, right? I... First of all, I do love that they speak freely about this because for so many years, there was so much mystery. A, a lot of people didn't even know about this, right? Until like the last couple of, of year or year and a half. So, you know, it was always such a, well, I mean, it was known that she was in a conservatorship, but nobody really paid any attention to it. Like nobody really dug deep, you know, like until it was, you know, exploded. Um, and I love to hear that Sam had to say that because, you know, it is bullshit, you know. Now, a lot of people are saying that, you know, we don't know exactly her medical reasons why she was put in a conservatorship. Like, what exactly, what are the exact reasons she was placed in under a conservatorship? And here's the thing, you guys. It does not matter, okay? For In my opinion, it does not matter. And I'll tell you why. Because that is personal knowledge. If If the judge... Uh, agreed to free her, it's because she d does not have to be in it. So that right there, you guys, is the answer, right? It's the answer. If a judge, if had a judge seen whatever medical records people are talking about that, you know, that is why she's in there, you know, her, her alleged dementia and all that bullshit, then the judge, trust me, would have never freed her, in my opinion. I truly don't think that a judge would have. Now, um, I love that he is sticking up for her. And I also, you know what it is? I also see a little bit, I, I, I thought about this the other day, you know, he's acting, he's traveling the world, he's going to premieres, he's doing this, he's doing that. And I, 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 I obviously, I don't want to put like words in his mouth or anything, but I feel like he is angry, not only because of what they did to her, but because how they left her, right? And I'm talking obviously about her mental health and her hatred towards the media and towards public appearances and stuff. Because I'm pretty sure that, you know, Sam thinks about future, you know, movie premieres or, or future events because obviously he is just starting his career. So, you know, he's probably wondering like, you know, will Britney be a part of this? Before that, the paparazzi asked him if, um, if he would like Britney to be in any movie with him. And he said, yes, that she's a wonderful actress and that maybe he'll write a script one day. Britney has made it very clear she doesn't want to work again, but there was all these rumors this week that she met up with RCA, um, her record company, to discuss allegedly her big comeback, but who knows? I don't know if that's true. Um, so I, 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 I wonder if, if Sam really, like, you know, um, just is even double the angry because he's like, damn, the way they left her, they truthfully fucked her up. And now she's trying to get out of that and she's healing every day, but it's not easy to heal from such a horrible situation that they put her in. You know, it's 13 years of basically, you know, telling you what to do, having all of your rights taken away, you know, your kids receiving a higher allowance than you. You know, I mean, obviously this is what, what Brittany said. This is obviously, you know, all alleged. I, 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 you know, 
you know, you know, you know what I mean. Um, but it is, it is difficult to, to, as a, a spouse to see how they left her. They, they, they bled her dry. They took, you know, a bunch of money, in my opinion, allegedly, and they just left her, you know, they just said, okay, we, we got everything we want. She's freed. Now deal with the consequences of everything that we put you through. That's sort of how I see things, you know, and it, it pains me to, it, it honestly pains me to see just how uh, Brittany is so secluded into her home and so, you know, kind of put in a situation where she now has to do all of the work to heal. Brittany was doing great. Brittany was on top of the world. And now Brittany has to pick up the pieces of what's left of her life. And I know she will because she is strong. She is, um, she has mentioned how she is so dedicated to med uh, to meditation. She's so dedicated to, you know, spirituality. So all of those things obviously will help her. Um, but it is sad. It is sad because I, I really do wonder if he's like, damn, I wish that Brittany could, you know, be with me more and, and travel with me and go to premieres with me. And, you know, because he is starting his career. Everything is new. Everything is brand new. Everything is amazing. Um, so I'm pretty sure he's like, you know, you know, my wife is, is it can't be with me because of everything. Uh, they put her through because, you know, before conservatorship, Britney would go to movie premieres. She was out and about. She was having a great time. She was, you know, she was a normal girl. She, you know, she, it wasn't such a big production when she went out. And the issue is because there's so much mystery surrounding Britney for her to go out now, it's going to be even more, um, overwhelming. And I feel like if she is going to start going, I feel like you should just rip the bandaid, but just go to a fucking stupid premiere you know and get that over with you know what i mean it, like if that's what she wanted like get all glammed up with the professional makeup and hairstyles because Brittany, as much as i love you girl you are not a hairstylist you are not a makeup artist okay point blank period um and you know just get it over with it that's what she wants you know and 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 the more you're the more she's out there the less mystery there is the less conspiracies and theories and all of these things and it just sort of becomes like normal to see her out and about but right now it's sort of like a ufo or like a like a mermaid you know like you know everyone's trying to see everyone is trying to find a sighting of britney you know so um so I feel like if she does want to get back to the public, I should just have to kind of rip the bandaid and, and sort of like just go little by little premiere here, out to dinner there, you know, uh, you know what I mean? Like be a little bit more, more out there. So it just becomes less and less a big deal because if Britney Spears steps onto a red carpet right now, it, I mean, it does not matter who is on the red carpet. Every photographer is going to go to Britney and it's all what's going to be talked about. So Anyways, what do you guys think of Sam speaking out? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I'm so grateful and thankful for each and every one of you. And I hope you have a fabulous weekend. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye.